हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आप सब लोग बहुत ही ज्यादा अच्छे हैं तो यार कुछ टाइम पहले मैंने कनाडा में एक घर खरीदा था एज यू ऑल नो घर लेने के बाद मैंने वीडियोस भी बनाए थे उससे रिलेटेड दैट हाउ यू कैन बाय अ हाउस व्हाट टू कीप इन माइंड व्हाट ऑल थिंग्स यू नीड टू कंसीडर एट द सेम टाइम मुझे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस भी आए मेरे इंस्टाग्राम पे सम पीपल मैसेज मी ऑन फेसबुक एज वेल एंड आल्सो सम कमेंट्स ऑन माय वीडियोस टू सो मैंने सोचा क्यों ना मेक दिस वीडियो विद एन एक्सपर्ट एंड वी हैव नन अदर देन मिस्टर अनिल बालाकृष्णन विद अस हु इज माय रियल्टर हु हेल्प मी टू बाय माय फर्स्ट ड्रीम हाउस इन कनाडा सर थैंक यू वेरी मच हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी ऑन बोर्ड नो वरीज बिकॉज बीइंग वेरी फ्रैंक आई एम नॉट लाइंग जस्ट टू से अनिल सर का जो टाइम टेबल होता है ना स्केड्यूल इज वेरी बिजी इट वाज हार्ड टू फाइंड टाइम सो दैट वी बोथ कैन मीट टुगेदर एंड सम टाइम्स आई एम बिजी एट वर्क एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स ही इज बिजीयर देन मी सो यस ही इज हंबल सो यस बट वी आर लकी दैट वी गॉट टाइम टुडे सो आज हम अनिल सर से बात करने वाले हैं जो की फोकस है आज वो है फर्स्ट टाइम होम बायर का बिकॉज lot of new immigrants lot of people coming right. to canada students turning into pr looking to right. buy a house getting married lot of things happening so pehla jo key hota hai na mere hisab se focus of first time home buyer ke liye because i get most of the question for these people correct and yahi log jo mere sath other connected hai jo canada aane wale hai ya abhi recently aaye or they are starting something new in canada right so aaj thoda trouble karne wale hain sir aapko sure sir good questions hai mere paas which i have it up here आप पहला क्वेश्चन जो आई थिंक मुझसे बहुत ज्यादा पूछा गया है कि बेस्ड ऑन योर एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग दिस सिंस आई थिंक मोर देन अराउंड टेन इयर्स ऑलमोस्ट टेन इयर्स ऑलमोस्ट टेन इयर्स एंड यू आर वर्किंग विद रीमैक्स ही इज वन ऑफ द वेरी फेमस ब्रोकर इन एन जी टी ए इन कैनेडा आई वॉन्ट लाई एंड दैट रीजन आई वर्क विद हेम सो सो बेस्ड ऑन योर एक्सपीरियंस How easy do you think it is to buy a home as a first time home buyer? See, uh, see, Sarthak. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me uh, on board. Like, it's great. Uh, it was a pleasure working with you and and your wife. You thank know, you. Uh, awesome people. Thank you. So, as a first time home buyer, like, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of easiness or difficult. How difficult it is depends on what the requirement is and what is the budget that is there. When we say about budget, what is the mortgage affordability? And both need to match. to make it easy right like you know it also depends on what stage of life the first time home buyers are right? you know is it a is it a young couple who just got married right is it somebody who has two kids and has to look for a bigger house is right. it uh, is it somebody who's older hasn't bought a house till now but is now looking to buy a house right. wants to buy, buy a bungalow so it all depends on that or so maybe just single looking to buy a house or maybe just single themselves yeah yeah absolutely makes sense perfect makes sense of course and i think uh when i was buying a house of course this was our first house so he guided us with many things and i think lot on that we are going to cover today because the question which i have already sent this question to him pehle se so that you know we both can be prepared dusra question mere paas hai sir advantage and disadvantage for a first time home okay so advantages jahan jahan tak advantages ki baat hai ji sabse bada advantage जो है वो है लैंड ट्रांसफर टैक्स में आपको जो यू गेट अ क्रेडिट फॉर फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर एज अ फर्स्ट टाइम होम बायर राइट दैट्स अ बिग एडवांस इन ऑनटेरियो इन ऑनटेरियो राइट सेकंड थिंग इज इफ यू पुटिंग मनी इनटू योर आरएसपी आई मीन इट्स ओनली एज अ फर्स्ट टाइम होम बायर दैट यू कैन यूज मनी फ्रॉम योर आरएसपी एंड पुट इट डाउन एज योर डाउन पेमेंट राइट एंड यू हैव 15 इयर्स टू पे इट बैक इनटू योर आरएसपी इंटरेस्ट फ्री Perfect. So I mean these two are the main advantages, advantages that are there for first time home buyers. Now disadvantages there are quite a bit and it is it, it is quite a struggle. Like as first time home buyers I have been there you've been there <laughs> like and I've been here for almost 24 years. Right. So I've been in those shoes as first time home buyers. I think the first thing a first time home buyer needs is a good solid experienced realtor. Somebody who can guide them who can actually tell them how things are rather than you know just sugar coating things because that i don't think it works True. and you've seen the way i want it right now the other disadvantage is that you know, there's there's so much of information this information overload when it comes to first time home buyers they're getting information from everywhere right so like you know number one get yourself a good experienced realtor yeah. number two get yourself a good experienced mortgage broker who will guide you as to what your budget can be 100% right 100%. i mean and i mean you will be surprised a lot of first time home buyers i know they they look for oh kitna hame cash back kya mile right no it's it's being we are being practical we are right? humans right right so but a lot but what they don't realize is ki jo jo realtor cash back ke bare mein baat kar raha hai right wo aapke liye paise bachane ki baat nahi kare kyunki <laughs> uski jeb se paise ja rahe hain Correct. Let's right. be let's be very yeah, practical. Yeah, realistic. Of course. Right. You know of a case, somebody who you recommended to me, like you know, we we there was no cash back involved. We didn't give any cash back, but we saved them almost twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah. What people don't realize is that that twenty five thousand dollars 
added to your mortgage at 4% interest, let's say, right, compound interest, right, like that adds up to $75,000. One person cash back would have been $6,500 approximately. So what would you rather have? Six and a half thousand dollars or saving seventy-five thousand dollars? I think that's yeah. a very valid point you made there because yes, he is right because you know, kya hota? let's say if I have to give you some money back, so I'll try to earn that much so that I can give you back. Correct. So agar aaj main try kar raho, aapko, let's say seven lakhs, yani seven hundred thousand ka ghar dilane ka, and I know I'm gonna get some piece of it and I have to give some out to you, I'll try to force you to buy something which is nine hundred or maybe a million dollars. Yeah, correct. So that I can get more commission and I can give you some correct. from my pocket too. Right. So yes, that's a valid point. And then Anil sir actually, uh, he's very straightforward in all those things. He talk everything very crystal clear. And I like, I like, I loved working with him. And that's why we are together sitting in front of the camera and helping you guys to buy your first house. Next question, sir, the pass hai. You already mentioned a lot of advantage, a couple of advantages and disadvantages as well. What all benefits are there and what to consider while buying your first property? So benefits we've already spoken about. Yeah. Like you know, there are two main benefits for first time mobiles. Land transport tax, rebate, RSP benefit. RRSP benefit. Okay. And the, the land transport tax of course is only in Ontario. Yeah. Right. Now there's a lot of costs that are involved with first time home buy. Yes. I mean that is something that you really need to keep in mind. Your closing costs. What does closing costs include? It includes your land transfer tax that you have to pay on your property. Yep. It is based on your purchase price and not on the evaluation of the property. True. Number two, your CMHC fees. If you're paying less than 20% down, you have to pay CMHC fees. What a lot of first time home buyers don't know is that your CMHC fees is added on to your mortgage payments, but the PST, the provincial sales tax, on your CMHC fees has to be paid up front before the, at the time of the closing of yes, the house. Yes. Now there are other costs involved also. There's home inspection clause uh, costs. I mean, a typical a good home inspector, a good home inspector will cost you around four hundred dollars for a good home inspection. There's a home appraisal cost if your bank or your lender says you get a home appraisal done. It's around three hundred dollars that yep. you have to pay. Yep. Then there is a title insurance cost. So your lawyer will typically take out a title insurance. What it does? It's a one-time insurance that indemnifies you from anything that has happened on the property before you bought. Before it. you bought, yeah. Right. So it covers you. Aaj ki date mein uske bina to mortgage bhi. Lenders nahi mortgage hoti, bhi nahi dete. Nahi dete, bilkul, because they need to make sure they have a title search document. Correct. And the other thing that the uh, lender is also looking for with a lot of, I'm telling you a lot of home buyers forget, is your home insurance. Yeah. Like, you know, you need to insure your home for fire and theft and you need to have that docket before closing. Closing, right? Yes. Your lawyer should ask for it. Same as when you buy a car. Absolutely. You need the insurance because before, before you, you the car. Before you drive out of the lot. Because right? something happens, then uh, they want to make sure you are covered with the insurance. See, you have to understand where the lender is coming from. Yeah, you are putting down 5%, 10%. The lender is putting down 90%, 90%, 95%. Yeah. Now there are smaller costs involved, like you know, moving costs. Like, you know, get your friends in, <laughs> feed them pizza, as <laughs> first time home buyers, and save that money. Like right. you know, have have friends like Sarthak and they'll help you out. <laughs> of course, right. all power in here to help you guys to move your house. Uh, of course, you already covered the number part. Do you think any budget or any number to keep in mind? Like you mentioned closing costs, lawyer fees and basic maintenance. Is there anything else to keep in mind as well? See, when you're buying your first, the first time home buyers are the ones again, who need the most guidance, right? right. And again, I've said, there's, there's not enough value that you can add to what a good uh, realtor can bring to the table when it comes right. to that. Now, when it comes to what to know when uh, when buying your first time home, home buy, right? right? Uh, how old is the house? Like how updated is? Is are the electricals upgraded? Like you know, uh, what is the um, is the roof, the furnace? Like you know, the HVAC systems. Uh, when was when were they replaced? Right. When uh, the renovation was done, basic renovation, I think. Correct. Right. Is the hot water tank, the furnace, the AC, or the HVAC is it rented or is it owned? Old. In ninety nine percent of houses in Ontario, hot water tanks are rental. Rental, yes. Right. But <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. So okay. Uh, is the basement that has been made is it legal? Is it rentable? Are you will you be able to get some income from that basement? Right. right? Uh, if yes, how much are you going to make out of it? Like, you know, how much is it going to affect your daily lifestyle? Also, right. you need to keep that in mind. Right. right? Um, have, have there been any leakages? 
has there been any issue has there been insurance quotes on the house <laughs> other thing also is has the house ever been a grow up has there been any legal issues with the house right right now in ontario this will let you know if the house has been a grow up now right now marijuana is legal yes yeah. but a grow up is, is is designated not as as some something where for commercial usage that property was used for commercial usage for the growth of illegal right. substance right if it has been a grow up it is the legal obligation of the listing agent and the seller to let you know before that you know yeah. so that is also something to keep in mind now moving forward in 2023 we all know like you know the government's come up with a first time it's it's a new tax free first time home savings account yeah. that's coming up first i think first time savings account yes it's in 2023 i think speak to your financial advisor speak to somebody like sartha kilo <laughs> he can also he help you out with that like and i think it's 8000 dollars per year per year for a maximum of 40000 40, and the good part is unlike the rsp you don't have to pay this back into your account and you have up to 50 15 years to to put it back yeah. i think that would uh, really help out on uh, in the future that's that uh, that's a very valid point and i think uh, there are a lot of lot of things of course we can talk about it i have made the whole series while i was buying the house before we bought after we bought and what all things we keep kept in mind because he was guiding us and of course that helped us as, as well before we move forward uh, to buy the house so you guys can watch that as well plus अगर कुछ भी क्वेश्चन है आपके अफकोर्स यू हैव माई इंस्टाग्राम आई एम गिविंग यू अनंत सर इंस्टाग्राम एज वेल यू कैन मैसेज हम यू कैन बॉल दर हम एज वेल एंड मोर देन हैप्पी टू एसिस्ट यू विद इट प्लस कॉमेंट इन द वीडियो विल ट्राई टू आंसर दैट इफ नॉट लेट्स देर सो मेनी क्वेश्चन वी आर गेटिंग आई ट्राई टू हैव अ क्यू एंड ए क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन विद द अनंत सर टूडे टूमोरो आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ आफ्टर वन ईयर वन वी हैव लॉर ऑफ क्वेश्चन वी कैन एनी टाइम डू दैट एंड वन मोर थिंग आई रिमेंबर अनंत सर टोल्ड मी वाल आई वॉज बाइंग द हाउस ही ही मैंशन लॉर ऑफ पॉइंट्स एंड आई नो when you deal with him he will tell you a lot of things while in the process one thing i remember if let's say in the past one year 10 years from uh, from now before you buy the house agar ghar mein fire bhi hua hai so aapki jo insurance cost hoti hai us ghar ki wo zyada hoti hai i remember you told yes. me this thing so let's say average cost i'm just don't quote me on number just for example if average cost is 100 dollars for somebody which is a regular high house normal house agar wahan par fire hua hai So I think cost might go up to twenty-five to fifty dollars. I think it all depends on see, see for something like this. I always tell people, in, in, even in your scenario, I think we had called the insurance person, we did. your to insurance check. agent, yes. to double check. I think they are the best people to let you know about of this. Of course. Like one small thing, I just want to add uh, as first-time home buyers. This is the question that I get the most. The question that I get the most right now is: Is this a good time to buy? <laughs> now, just to let you know, yeah, you kind know, of markets are off their highs from where they were in February. They're they're very stable right now, right? Now, देखो first time home buyer के लिए ना good time, bad time. Definitely February, March was not a good time to buy as a first time home buyer. I would agree. But the best time to buy a house as a first time home buyer is when you are ready. When you are ready. like you know it all depends again if you're a, if if you're a single guy looking for a condo things are different if you're a couple uh, who who's thinking of uh, buying a house and you're thinking of like, you know extending your family having kids look for a house which has good school ratings around it if you're an older couple looking for like and just to retire peace. look for a house where there is peace <laughs> right so everybody has a different stage of life right so when you're ready when you're financially ready when you're mentally ready when you're physically ready that is that is the best time to buy a house same question i asked and he said uh, this is the last thing we'll wrap up the video soon same question i asked is the right time to buy a house and he told me one thing i remember it which never goes off from my mind he said if it's your first house and you're going to live in that there's no right or wrong time because aap apne liye khareed rahe ho jo second house hota na wo aap market situation dekh kar khareedte ho ki yaar abhi le nahi le because that's your investment property or maybe second house where you might move but your primary house is always your primary so sahi aur galat kuch nahi hota as he mentioned when you are ready that's the right time yeah so i hope you guys like the video do comment below sabse acha kya laga aur aur se koi bhi questions ho feel free to comment below message him or me on instagram will be more than happy to assist you with thank you very much anil sir hey. it was a pleasure uh, you know making a video Same with you here. and we'll try to make many more videos like this to help as many people as possible absolutely thank you for watching take care of yourself and have a wonderful rest of your day goodbye thank you guys